We're going to have a really quick report back session. Um, I don't know if we have our reporter from session one. All right, Ted. <laughs> So these, I mean, these are, we asked each session to come up with big ideas, three to five, some have more, some may have less, but that's okay. Um, we're reporting them out now. In about a week, you guys are gonna get some materials that are sort of all the ideas that came out of the, the meeting with some requests for you to start prioritizing them. Um, and so these are ideas that are gonna go into that later on. Okay, we had a lively discussion in the population genomics uh, session, um, and we we spent a lot of time talking about um, sample collection, sample archiving, and um, in in standards across so um, a, a, across samples. Um, thinking about the ecological context and recording phenotypes associated with the with the samples that we are sequencing and, and archiving. And um, pointing out throughout the session um, that there's a lot of resources that already exist that we can um, leverage in the, in the population genomics um, realm and, and for how it is that we're connecting um, the phenotypic data and, and the archived samples. Um, we also talked a fair amount about in this sampling the international context um, of, of sampling, funding for this. Um, the training and in, in leveraging local populations in terms of how it is that we um, use citizen science and um, citizen scientists and um, in, in aligning our interests with, with those of, of local populations. Um, we also uh, spent a good deal of time talking about prioritization um, of, of, of what gets sequenced and whether or not um, in, in the need for a good phylogenetic context and whether or not we need to do um, uh, 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 low pass sequencing or high pass sequencing initially to just um, connect the population genomics with the, with the phylogenetic context. And the point was raised um, and, and agreed upon by, by many that, that one is not enough in that um, and that we need to think about um, how many is enough when we're thinking about um, population genomics. And then um, we also talked a fair amount about this idea of the extended specimen um, and that the importance of collecting um, phenotypic and ecological information on the samples that were used. And then as we were sort of talking about these different data types um, with population genomics, there were a number of um, insightful comments from uh, data scientists in the room that were that noted that uh, um, that we we don't have to reinvent the wheel for a lot of these things in terms of how it is that we connect this data um, that 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 this is being done um, w uh, through um, resources that already exist. So those were the, the things that um, that that sort of came out of of the population genomics session. 